Joining us now is CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford. Good morning, Jack. Maggie, good morning. We just heard Jeff say that in the future, the penalty for invasion of privacy might be apt. But as it stands right now, five years is the maximum they could get? Five years is the maximum. It's a third degree offense. New Jersey has four levels. First, most serious, down to fourth. So third degree offense carries with a maximum penalty of five years. But the interesting thing is, if you're a first time offender. And Which and, they are. Exactly. There is a presumption in the law that you don't go to jail that you would get some sort of probationary scheme with, uh, scheme with community service involved. So that's what the, the presumption is. Now, that presumption can be overcome by a lot of things. A sentencing judge, if they get to that point, mm -hmm. might look at this and say, there was a death here. And even though you're not technically charged with that death, your conduct had a direct or at least an indirect result of a death. And a judge might say, so you know what, I'm beyond the presumption of no jail time and you are going to go to jail. You are going to do the five years. Yeah. What if they tack on hate crime charges? How much time could that add to the sentence? That's a good question. New Jersey does have a hate crime statute. Now, what people have to understand, it's not a separate crime. Uh, what it does is, if you can prove that this offense was because of somebody's, uh, it, here, the fact that they were gay, for mm -hmm. instance, what it does is it enhances. It gives the judge the ability to enhance a sentence, and here it could double it. could kick mm. it up from five years up to ten years. Prosecution hasn't made that decision yet, but they'd have to be in a position to prove that there was a direct link between right. the fact that he was gay and the conduct involved. If these two students caused this other student's death indirectly, why wouldn't there be manslaughter charges? You know, a lot of people are asking that, and a lot of people make the analogy to, to drunk driving deaths, which years and years ago were not terribly serious. Now people in most statutes have, and most legislators have said, we've make, we're making this a manslaughter type of category. Right now, the law in New Jersey and in most places doesn't do that. Two reasons. First is they say there's not that direct link. Again, using the analogy of drunk driving. I'm drunk, I get in the car, I crash into you, I cause your death. Uh, there's a direct link between what I did and the death. Right. And here you would probably argue, well, uh, how would they have known? that mm. this, as bad as it was, was going to result mm -hmm. in his death. He killed himself. Exactly. That's they the other step. It's him, a, it, right? He took his own life, right. as tragic as it is. They didn't do something like a drunk driver to cause somebody else to die. Does his family, does the victim's family have any legal recourse here? Could they go after yeah. him in civil court? They maybe? do. This is one of those areas where you might see a civil suit afterwards. People might remember the O.J. Simpson trial. He's prosecuted criminally, and the families then sued him civilly. You might see a civil lawsuit right. here, uh, intentional infliction of emotional distress they talk about. And in the civil lawsuit, they could could make an argument that the death was directly linked. So the arguments would be a little bit different in the civil state. No jail time, monetary damages. But they could still be found responsible, responsible. for the death as O.J. Simpson was. Exactly. Jack Ford, thank you, Jack. All right, Maggie.